learning objectives. In this chapter, the user would learn the following in detail. The M bar M bar 1 queuing system. The state dependent M bar M bar 1 queuing system. M bar M bar 1 bar N finite buffer case. M bar M bar queuing system. Infinite number of servers. The M bar G bar 1 queuing system. Network of queues. Open networks and closed networks. Efficiency of queuing system. In order to me assure the efficiency of the queuing system, a ratio may be defined as follows. WQ divided by expectation of T equal to average waiting time in queue divided by average service time equal to useless time divided by useful time. The smaller the ratio, better will be the system. M bar M bar 1 colon infinity bar infinity bar fcfs model model m bar m bar 1 colon infinity bar fcfs birth and death model with usual notation show that the probability distribution of q length is given by rho n into 1 minus rho where rho equal to lambda by mu less than 1 and n greater than or equal to 0 solution the probability that there will be n units in the system at time t plus delta t may be expressed as the sum of four independent compound probabilities by using the fundamental properties of probability. Poisson arrival and of exponential service times that is pn of t plus delta t equal to pn of t into 1 minus lambda plus mu into delta t plus pn minus 1 of t into lambda into delta t plus pn plus 1 of t into mu into delta t plus pn of t lambda into mu into delta square s from 1 limit delta t tends to 0 pn of t plus delta t minus pn of t by delta t equal to lambda plus mu of pn of t plus lambda pn minus 1 of t plus mu into pn plus 1 t. In the steady state, pn dash of t tends to 0, then pn of t tends to pn, then 0 equal to minus of lambda plus mu into pn plus lambda into pn minus 1 plus mu into pn plus 1. Probability that there will be no unit at time t plus delta t will be the sum of the following independent probabilities. Subdivision 1 Probability of that there is no unit in the system at time t and no arrival in time delta t equal to p naught of t into 1 minus lambda into delta t. Cosine of any service in delta t will not arise as there are no units in time t. Subdivision 2. Probability of that there is one unit in the system at time t, one unit serviced in delta t, and no arrival in delta t equal to p1 of t into mu into delta t into 1 minus lambda into delta t. Adding these two probabilities, p naught of t plus delta t equal to p naught of t into 1 minus lambda into delta t plus p1 of t into mu into delta t into 1 minus lambda into delta t implies p0 of t plus delta t minus p0 of t divided by delta t equal to minus lambda into p0 of t plus mu into p1 of t for n equal to 0 as delta t tends to 0. In steady state implies 0 equal to minus lambda into p0 plus mu into p1. p1 equal to lambda by mu into p0. Use n equal to 1 in 2. Then p2 equal to lambda by mu. p1 equal to lambda by mu the whole square into p0. Then pn equal to lambda by mu whole power n 
into P0 for n greater than or equal to 0. Since summation n equal to 0 to infinity, Pn equal to 1 implies P0 plus lambda by mu into P0 plus lambda by mu the whole square into P0 plus etc. It goes on till infinity equal to 1. After taking the P0 as common, we can write 1 plus lambda by mu plus lambda by mu the whole square plus etc. equal to 1. Or P0 into 1 by 1 minus lambda by mu equal to 1 for lambda by mu less than 1. And the infinite series in left hand side is infinite series whose first term equal to 1 and C ratio equal to lambda by mu or P0 equal to 1 minus lambda by mu equal to 1 minus rho. As Pn equal to lambda by mu whole power n into P0 equal to lambda by mu whole power n into 1 minus lambda by mu. Then Pn equal to rho power n into 1 minus rho. We know very well rho equal to lambda by mu. Measure of model 1. Number 1. To find the average expected number of units in the system L. Solution. By definition of expected value, L is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity, n into Pn equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity, n into lambda by mu whole power n into 1 minus lambda by mu equal to 1 minus lambda by mu into lambda by mu summation n equal to 1 to infinity n into lambda by mu whole power n minus 1 equal to 1 minus lambda by mu into lambda by mu into 1 plus 2 into lambda by mu plus 3 into lambda by mu the whole square plus etc. We can write like this till infinity. Then equal to 1 minus lambda by mu into lambda by mu into 1 minus lambda by mu whole power minus 2 using binomial theorem equal to lambda by mu divided by 1 minus lambda by mu where L is equal to rho divided by 1 minus rho where rho equal to lambda by mu less than 1. Number 2 to find the average length of Q LQ LQ equal to LS minus lambda by mu equal to rho square by 1 minus rho. Number 3. Expected waiting time in the system. Ws equal to Ls by lambda. Little's formula equal to 1 by mu minus lambda. Number 4. Waiting time in the Q. Wq equal to Lq by lambda equal to lambda by mu into mu minus lambda. Number 5. Expected waiting time of a customer who has to wait W bar W greater than 0 equal to 1 by mu minus lambda. Number 6. Expected length of the non-empty Q L bar L greater than 0 equal to mu by mu minus lambda. Number 7. Probability of Q size greater than or equal to N is rho power N. Number 8. Probability waiting time in the system greater than or equal to t equal to integral t to infinity mu minus lambda into e power minus of mu minus lambda into w into dw. Number 9. Probability of waiting time in the q greater than or equal to t equal to integral t to infinity rho into mu minus lambda e power minus of mu minus lambda into w dw that means into dw number 10 traffic intensity equal to lambda by mu example in a railway marshalling yard goods train arrive at a rate of 30 trains per day 
assuming that inter arrival time follows an exponential distribution and the service time distribution is also exponential with an average of 36 minutes calculate the following the mean queue size that means line length the probability that queue size exceeds 10 if the input of the train increases to an average 33 per day what will be the changes in 1 2 solution lambda equal to 30 by 60 into 24 equal to 1 by 48 mu equal to 1 by 36 trains per minute therefore rho equal to lambda by mu equal to 36 by 48 equal to 0 0.75 solution for subdivision 1 they ask ls ls equal to rho by 1 minus rho equal to 0 0.75 divided by 1 minus 0 0.75 equal to 3 trains solution for number 2 probability of greater than or equal to 10 equal to 0 0.75 whole power 10 equal to 0 0.056 subdivision 3 when the input increases to 33 trains per day we have lambda equal to 33 divided by 16 to 24 equal to 1 by 480 and mu equal to 1 by 36 trains per minute. Now, ls equal to rho by 1 minus rho, where rho equal to lambda by mu, where rho equal to 0 0.825. Therefore, ls equal to 0 0.825 divided by 1 minus 0 0.825 equal to 5 trains. Also, Probability of P greater than or equal to 10 equal to rho power 10 equal to 0 0.825 whole power 10 equal to 0 0.1460. Example, customer arrive at a one window drive in one back according to Poisson distribution with mean 10 per hour. Service time per customer is exponential with mean 5 minutes. The space in front of the window including that for the serviced car can accommodate a maximum of 3 cars. Other can wait outside the space. Subdivision 1. What is the probability that an arriving customer can drive directly to the space in front of the window? Subdivision 2. What is the probability that an arriving customer will have to wait outside the indicated space? Subdivision 3. How long the arriving customer is expected to wait before starting service? Solution. We know that Pn denotes the probability of n units in the system and Pn equal to lambda by mu whole power n into 1 minus lambda by mu. Subdivision 1. The probability that an arriving customer can drive directly to the space in front of the window equal to P1 equal to P0 plus P1 plus P2 where P0 equal to 1 minus lambda by mu, P1 equal to lambda by mu into 1 minus lambda by mu then p2 equal to lambda by mu the whole square into 1 minus lambda by mu implies p0 plus p1 plus p2 equal to 1 minus lambda by mu into 1 plus lambda by mu plus lambda by mu the whole square here lambda equal to 10 per hour then mu equal to 1 by 5 into 60 equal to 12 per hour. Therefore, lambda by mu equal to 10 by 12. Therefore, P0 plus P1 plus P2 equal to 1 minus 10 by 12 into 1 plus 10 by 12 plus 100 by 144. Subdivision 2. Probability that an arriving customer will have to wait outside the indicated space equal to 1 minus 0 0.42 equal to 0 0.58. Subdivision 3. Average waiting time of a customer in the queue equal to lambda by mu into 1 by mu minus lambda equal to 10 by 12 into 1 by 12 minus 10 equal to 5 by 12. Then we getting 0 0.417 hours. Example. In a supermarket, the average arrival rate of a customer is 10 in every 30 minutes following poison process the average time taken by the cashier to list and calculate the customers purchases is 2.5 minutes following exponential distribution 
what is the probability that the queue length exceeds 6? What is the expected time spent by a customer in the system? Solution. Here, the mean arrival rate, lambda equal to 10 by 30 per minute. And the mean service rate equal to 1 by 2.5 per minute. A rho equal to lambda by mu equal to 1 by 3 divided by 1 by 2.5 equal to 0 0.83333. Subdition 1. One thing we have noticed it very clearly. Before solving our subdition 1, 2, 3, etc., we just want to find out the lambda and mu clearly. Without finding the lambda and mu, we can't be able to solve the problem because in this example and then in the past examples also, first we finding out the lambda and mu, then only going inside the problem. So we have to concentrate how to find out the lambda and then mu first, and then it's very easy to solve the problem. The probability of Q size greater than n equal to rho power n, where n equal to 6 implies 0 0.8333 whole power 6 equal to 0 0.3348. Subdition 2 Ws equal to Ls by lambda equal to rho by 1 minus rho divided by lambda, where rho equal to lambda by mu equal to. 0 0.833 divided by 1 minus 0 0.833 into 3 equal to 2.499 divided by 0 0.167 then we getting 14.96 minutes example in a public telephone booth the arrivals are on the average 15 per hour a call on the average takes 3 minutes is the risk just one phone find subdivision 1 Expected number of callers in the booth at any time. Subdivision 2. The proportion of the time the booth is expected to be idle. Solution. Mean arrival rate lambda equal to 15 per hour. Mean service rate nu equal to 1 by 3 into 60 equal to 20 per hour. Expected length of the non-empty Q equal to nu by mu minus lambda equal to 20 by 20 minus 15 equal to 4. The service is busy means equal to lambda by mu equal to 15 by 20 equal to 3 by 4. Therefore, the booth expected to idle for 1 minus 3 by 4 equal to 1 by 4 hours equal to 15 minutes. Model m bar m bar 1 n bar fifo first in first out. In this model, the arrival pattern in poison servicing pattern is exponential. There is a single channel and the capacity of the system is n, that means finite, and the Q discipline is first in first out. In this model, lambda n equal to lambda, mu n equal to mu, for small n less than capital N, lambda n equal to 0, for small n greater than or equal to capital N. Since no arrival can be accommodated in the system where there are n customers already, Proceeding as in model 1, the probabilities of n units and no unit in the system are given by differential equations. Pn of t plus delta t equal to Pn of t into 1 minus of lambda plus mu into delta t plus Pn minus 1 of t into lambda into delta t plus Pn plus 1 t into mu into delta t plus order of delta t for 1 greater than or equal to n. Pn of t plus delta t equal to Pn of t into 1 minus of lambda plus mu into delta t plus Pn minus 1 of t lambda into delta t plus order of delta t for n equal to capital N. P naught of t plus delta t equal to P naught of t into 1 minus lambda into delta t plus P one of t into mu into delta t plus order of delta t for n equal to 0. Simplifying the above results we get Pn dash of t equal to 1 minus of lambda plus mu into Pn of t plus lambda into Pn minus 1 plus mu into Pn minus 1 for 1 less than or equal to small n less than or equal to capital N minus 1 
P n dash of capital N of t equal to minus of lambda plus mu into P n of t that means capital N of t plus lambda into P capital N minus 1 of t for small n equal to capital N. P naught dash of t equal to minus lambda into P naught of t plus mu into P 1 of t for n equal to 0. Under steady state system, lambda t tends to infinity, p n of t equal to p and p n dash of t equal to 0. Lambda plus mu into p n equal to lambda into p n minus 1 for 1 less than or equal to small n less than or equal to capital N minus 1. Mu into p n equal to that means mu into p capital N equal to lambda into p capital N minus 1 for small n equal to capital N. Lambda into p naught equal to mu into p1 for n equal to 0. p1 equal to lambda by mu into p naught. Then p2 equal to lambda by mu the whole square into p naught, etc. pn equal to lambda by mu whole power n into p naught, etc. p capital N equal to lambda by mu whole power capital N into P naught. To find P naught, we use the fact summation N equal to 0 to capital N, P N equal to 1, P naught plus P1 plus etc. P capital N equal to 1, P into 1 plus rho plus rho square plus etc. rho power capital N equal to 1. Then, P naught of 1 minus rho power capital N minus 1 divided by 1 minus rho equal to 1. Then, P naught equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power N plus 1, that means capital N plus 1. P N equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power N plus 1 into rho power N, comma, small n equal to 1, 2, etc. capital N. Subdition 1. Find the average Q length of the system in the model M bar M bar 1, N bar FIFO first in first out. Average Q length equal to summation N equal to 0 to N, that means capital N. NPN equal to summation N equal to 0 to capital N. N into 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power N plus 1 into rho power N equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power n plus 1 into summation n equal to 0 to capital N n into rho power n equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power n plus 1 into rho plus 2 rho square plus 3 rho cube plus etc. capital N into rho power capital N let s equal to rho plus 2 rho square plus 3 rho cube plus etc. Capital N into rho power N. Rho s equal to rho square plus 2 rho cube etc. Capital N minus 1 into rho power capital N plus capital N into rho power capital N plus 1. Subtracting we get 1 minus rho into s equal to rho plus rho square, plus rho cube, plus etc. rho power n minus capital N into rho power capital N plus 1 equal to rho into 1 minus rho power capital N divided by 1 minus rho minus n into that means capital N into rho power capital N plus 1 s equal to rho into 1 minus rho power capital N minus capital N into rho power capital N plus capital N into rho power capital N plus 1 divided by 1 minus rho the whole square. The average Q length from 1 equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1 into rho into 1 minus rho power capital N minus capital N into rho power capital N plus capital N into rho power capital N plus 1 divide by 1 minus rho the whole square.
equal to rho into 1 minus of 1 plus capital N into rho power capital N plus capital N into rho power capital N plus 1 divided by 1 minus rho into 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1. Subdivision 2. Find the average length of the waiting line. Expectation of M equal to summation N equal to 1 to capital N N minus 1 into Pn equal to expectation of N minus summation N equal to 0 to N Pn plus P0 equal to 1 minus of capital N plus 1 into rho power N that means capital N plus capital N into rho power capital N plus 1 divided by 1 minus rho into 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1 equal to rho square into 1 minus capital N into rho power capital N minus 1 plus rho power capital N into capital N minus 1 divided by 1 minus rho into 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1. Similarly, we can show that subdivision 3 expectation of V equal to expectation of N divided by lambda where lambda equal to 1 minus P capital N. Subdivision 4 expectation of W equal to expectation of V minus 1 by U. Model M bar, M bar 1, N bar, FC, FS. Here, the capacity of system is limited, say, capital N. In fact, arrivals will not exceed capital N in any case. The various measures of this model. P0 equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1, where rho equal to lambda by mu. Lambda by mu greater than 1 is allowed. Pn equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power n plus 1 that means capital N plus 1 into rho power n where n equal to 0, 1, 2 etc till n. Ls equal to P0 into summation n equal to 0 to capital N n into rho power n. Ws equal to Ls minus lambda by mu. Ws equal to Ls by lambda. WQ equal to LQ by lambda. Example, if for period of 2 hours in a day, 8 to 10 am, trains arrive at the yard every 20 minutes, but the service time continues to remain 36 minutes, then calculate for this period. Subdivision A. The probability that the yard is empty. Subdivision B. Average Q length, assuming that capacity of the yard is 4 trains only. Solution. Here, rho equal to 36 by 20 equal to 1.8. Capital N equal to 4. Subdivision A. P0 equal to rho minus 1 by rho power 5 minus 1 equal to 0 0.04. Subdivision B. Average Q length size equal to P0 into summation n equal to 0 to 4 n into rho power n equal to 0 0.04 into rho plus 2 rho square minus 3 rho cube plus 4 into rho power 4 equal to 2.9 equal to 3 trains. Queuing theory. Example, in a railway marshalling yard, goods train arrive at a rate of 30 trains per day. Assume that the inter arrival time follows an exponential distribution and the service time distribution is also exponential with an average of 36 minutes. Calculate. Subdivision A. The probability that the yard is empty. Subdivision B. Average Q length. Assuming that the line capacity of the yard is 9 trains. Solution. Here lambda by mu equal to rho. This implies rho equal to 0 0.75. Subdivision A. The probability that the Q is 0 is given by P0 equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1 
where capital N equal to 9 implies P naught equal to 1 minus 0 0.75 divided by 1 minus 0 0.75 whole power 10 equal to 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.9 equal to 0 0.2649. Substitution B. Average Q length is given by the formula LS equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1 into summation N equal to 0 to capital N, N rho power N, LS equal to 1 minus 0 0.75 divided by 1 minus 0 0.75 whole power 10 into summation N equal to 0 to 9 n into 0 0.75 whole power n equal to 0 0.28 into 9.58 equal to 3 trains. Example, a barber has space to accommodate only 10 customers. He can service only one person at a time. If a customer comes to his shop and finds it full, he goes to next shop. Customers randomly arrive at an average rate lambda equal to 10 per hour. And the barber's service time is negative exponential with an average of 1 by mu equal to 5 minutes per customer. Find P0 Pn. Solution. Here, capital N equal to 10, lambda equal to 10 by 60, mu equal to 1 by 5. Rho equal to lambda by mu equal to 5 by 6. P0 equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power 11 equal to 1 minus 5 by 6 divided by 1 minus 5 by 6 whole power 11 equal to 0 0.1667 divided by 0 0.8655 equal to 0 0.1926. Pn equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power capital N plus 1 into rho power N equal to 0 0.1926 into 5 by 6 whole power n, comma, n equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. till 10. m bar g bar 1, infinity bar f c f s. The various formula for m bar g bar 1, infinity bar f c f s, can be summarized as follows. Average number of customers in the system equal to lambda square into sigma square plus rho square divided by 2 into 1 minus rho plus Rho. Average Q length equal to lambda square into sigma square plus rho square by 2 into 1 minus rho plus rho minus rho equal to lambda square into sigma square plus rho square by 2 into 1 minus rho. Average waiting time of a customer in the queue equal to lambda square into sigma square plus rho square by 2 lambda into 1 minus rho. Average waiting time that a customer spends in the system equal to lambda square into sigma square plus rho square divided by 2 lambda into 1 minus rho plus 1 by mu. M bar G bar 1 infinity bar GD. In this model, M tends to Poisson arrivals, G tends to general output distribution, infinity tends to waiting room capacity is infinite, GD tends to general service discipline such as FCFS, LCFS, SARY, etc. In order to determine the mean queue length and the mean waiting time for the system, a technique different from that followed earlier will be used. Let F of T tends to PDF of service time distribution with mean E of T that means expectation of T and variance of T. N tends to number of customers in the system just after a customer's departs t tends to time to serve the customer in the system just after a customer departs k tends to number of new arrivals during t n dash tends to number of customers left behind the next departing customer these symbols can be better explained by the following diagram. But T represents the time when the jth customer departs and capital T plus small t represents the time when the next j plus 1th customer departs. The notation 
j, j plus 1, etc. do not necessarily mean that customers are introduced into service on FCFS discipline. Rather, it identifies the different customers departing from the system. Thus, the result of its model can be applied to any one of the three service disciplines FCFS, FCLS and SIRO where FCFS stands for first come first service FCLS stands for first come last service SIRO stands for service in random order the system is observed only just after a service departure has been completed such instant of times defines the regeneration point if n customers are in the system at the time t initially the next moment capital T plus small t the number n dash in the system is given by equal to k for n equal to 0 n minus 1 plus k for n greater than 0 is called equation number 1 where k equal to 0 1 2 etc is the number of arrivals during the service time alternatively if gamma equal to 1 for n equal to 0 0 for n greater than 0 is called equation number 2 n dash equal to n minus 1 plus gamma plus k is called equation number 3 now taking expectation on both sides it's expectation of n dash equal to expectation of n minus 1 plus expectation of gamma plus expectation of k expectation of gamma equal to 1 minus expectation of k since expectation of n dash equal to expectation of n in steady state is called equation number 4 squaring equation number 3 on both sides n dash whole square equal to n square plus k minus 1 the whole square plus 2 times of n into k minus 1 gamma square plus 2n gamma plus 2k gamma minus 2 gamma since gamma can take values 0 and 1 only so gamma square equal to gamma and n gamma equal to 0 the above expressions becomes n dash square equal to n square plus k square plus 2n into k minus 1 plus gamma into 2k minus 1 minus 2k plus 1 or 2n into 1 minus k equal to n square minus n dash square plus k square plus gamma into 2k minus 1 minus 2k plus 1 now taking expectation that means e on both sides 2 into expectation of n into 1 minus expectation of k equal to expectation of n square minus expectation of n dash square plus expectation of k square plus expectation of gamma into expectation of 2k minus 1 minus 2 into expectation of k plus 1 expectation of n equal to expectation of k square minus 2 into expectation of k plus expectation of gamma into 2 times of expectation of k minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 into 1 minus expectation of k substituting expectation of gamma equal to 1 minus expectation of k expectation of n equal to expectation of k square minus 2 into expectation of k plus 1 minus expectation of k into 2 into expectation of k minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 into 1 minus expectation of k expectation of n equal to expectation of k square plus expectation of k minus 2 into expectation square into k divided by 2 into 1 minus expectation of k now in order to determine expectation of n the values of expectation of k and expectation of k square are to be computed since the arrivals in the time t follows the poisson distribution expectation of k by t equal to lambda t expectation of k square by t equal to lambda t the whole square plus lambda t variance of k by t equal to expectation of k square by t minus expectation square of 
k squared by t. Hence, expectation of k equal to integral 0 to infinity, expectation of k by t into f of t into dt equal to integral 0 to infinity, lambda t into f of t into dt equal to lambda into expectation of t. Also, expectation of k squared equal to integral 0 to infinity, expectation of k squared by t into f of t into dt equal to integral 0 to infinity, lambda t the whole square, lambda t into f of t into dt equal to lambda square into expectation of t square plus lambda into expectation of t equal to lambda square into variance of t plus lambda square into expectation square of t plus lambda into expectation of t. Therefore, ls equal to expectation of n equal to lambda into expectation of t plus lambda square into expectation square of t plus variance of t divided by 2 into 1 minus lambda into expectation of t. This is called Polakzak Kinzin PK formula. It is noticed that lambda into expectation of t less than 1, otherwise ls becomes negative, which cannot be. In particular, let capital G equal to capital M, then variance of t equal to 1 by mu square, expectation of t equal to 1 by mu, ls equal to lambda by mu plus lambda square into 1 by mu square plus 1 by mu square divided by 2 times of 1 minus lambda by mu equal to rho plus 2 rho square divided by 2 into 1 minus rho equal to rho by 1 minus rho which is the same as obtained earlier for the model m bar m bar 1. Limitation for application of queuing models. The single channel queuing model can be fitted in situations where the following conditions are satisfied. The number of arrival rate is denoted by lambda. The service time has exponential distribution. The average service rate is denoted by mu. The arrivals are from infinite population. The queue discipline is FCFS means first to come, first to serve. That is, customers are served on the first to come, first to service basis. There is only a single service station. The mean arrival rate is less than the mean service rate, that is, lambda less than mu. The waiting space available for customers in the queue is infinite. Queuing system. A queuing system can be completely described by Subdition A, the input or arrival pattern. Subdition B, the service mechanism or service pattern. Subdition C, the queue discipline. And Subdition D, the customer's behavior. Subdition A, the input or arrival pattern. The input describes the way in which the customers arrive and the join system. Generally, the customers may arrive in a more or less random fashion, which is not worth making the prediction. Thus, the arrival pattern can test be described in terms of probabilities and consequently, the probability distribution for inter-arrival times, the time between two successive arrivals, or the distribution of number of customers arriving in unit time must be defined. The present character is only deals with those queuing systems in which the customers arrive in poison or completely random fashion. Other general types of arrival pattern may also be observed in practice that have been studied in queuing theory. Two such patterns are observed where arrivals are of regular intervals. There is general distribution, perhaps normal. Subdivision B, the service mechanism or service pattern. It is specified when it is known how many customers can be served at a time, what the statistical distribution of service time is, and when service is available. It is true in most situations that service time is a random variable with the same distribution for all arrivals.
but cases occur where there are clearly two or more cases of customers each with a different service time distribution service time may be constant or a random variable distributions of service time which are important in practice or negative exponential distribution and the related along gamma distribution used with the negative exponential service time distribution of studied following sections subdivision c the q discipline the q discipline is the rule determining the formation of the q the manner of the customer's behavior while waiting and the manner in which they are chosen for service the simplest discipline is first come first served according to which the customers are served in the order of their arrival for example such type of queue discipline is observed at a ration shop at cinema ticket windows at railway stations etc if the order is reversed we have the last come first served discipline as in the case of big go down the items which came last are taken out first an extremely difficult queue discipline to handle might be service in random order or might in properties of queuing systems which are concerned with waiting times in general depend on queue discipline for example the variance of waiting time will be much greater with the queue discipline first to come last to served then with the first to come first to served although mean waiting time will remain unaffected the following notations are used for describing the nature of service discipline fifo that is called first in first out or fcfs first come first served lifo last in first out or filo first in last out siro service in random order subdivision d customers behavior the customers generally behave in four ways number 1 bulking a customer may leave the queue because the queue is too long and he has no time to wait or there is not sufficient waiting space number 2 reneging this occurs when a waiting customers leaves the queue due to impatience number 3 priorities in certain applications some customers are served before other regardless of their order of arrival the customers have priority over others number 4 jockeying customers may jockey from one waiting line to other it may seem that this occurs in the supermarket subdivision e size of population the collection of potential customers may be very large or of a moderate size in a railway booking counter the total number of potential passengers is so large that although theoretically finite it can be regarded as infinity for all practical purposes the assumption of finite populations is very convenient for analyzing a queuing model however this assumption is not valid where the customers group is represented by few machines in workshop that require operator facility from time to time if the population time is finite then the analysis of queuing model becomes involved subdivision f maximum length of a queue sometimes only a finite number of customers are allowed to stay in the system although the total number of customers in the population may or may not be finite for example a doctor may have appointments with k patients in a day if the number of patients asking for the appointments exceeds k they are not allowed to join the queue thus although the size of the population is infinite the maximum number permissible in the system is k queuing problem in a specified queuing system the problem is to determine the following subdivision a probability distribution of queue length when the nature of probability distributions 
of the arrival and the service pattern is given. The probability distribution of Q length can be obtained. Further, we can also estimate the probability that there is no Q. Subdivision B. Probability distribution of waiting time of customers. We can find the time spent by a customer in the queue before the commencement of his service which is called as waiting time. The total time spent by him in the system is the waiting time plus service time. Subdivision C. The busy period distribution. We can estimate the probability distribution of busy periods. If we suppose that the service is free initially and the customer arrives, he will be served immediately. During the service time, some more customers will arrive and will be served in the turn. The process will continue in this way until no customer will left unserved and the server becomes free again. When this happens, we say that a busy period have just ended. On the other hand, during ideal periods, no customer is present in the system. A busy period and the ideal period following it together constitute a busy cycle. The study of the busy period is of great interest in cases where technical features of the server and its capacity for continuous operations must be taken into account. Transient and study state Queuing theory analysis involves the study of a system's behavior over time. A system is said to be in transient state when its operating characteristics behavior are depend on time. This usually occurs at the earlier stages of the operation of the system where its behavior is still dependent on the initial conditions. However, since we are mostly interested in long run behavior of the system, mainly the attention has been paid toward steady state results. A steady state condition is said to prevail when the behavior of the system becomes independent of time. Later, P n of t denote the probability that there are n units in the system at time t. In fact, the change of P n of t with respect to t is described by the derivative d P n of t divided by dt or P n dash of t. The meaning for d P n of t by dt is, is we just differentiating. Then the queuing system is said to become stable eventually in the sense that the probability P n of t is independent of time that is remains the same as time passes t tends to infinity. Mathematically in steady state limit t tends to infinity P n of t equal to P n independent of t tends to limit t tends to infinity d p n of t divided by d t equal to d p n by d t tends to limit t tends to infinity p n dash of t equal to 0. In some situations, if the arrival rate of the system is larger than its service rate, a steady state cannot be reached regardless of the length of the elapsed time. In fact, in this case, the queue length will increase with the time and the theoretically, it could build up to infinitely. Such case is called the explosive state. A list of symbols. N equal to number of units in the system. P n of t equal to transient state probability that exactly n calling units in the queuing system at time t. E n equal to the state in which there are n calling units in the system p n equal to steady state probability of having n units in the system lambda n equal to mean arrival rate of customers mu n equal to mean service rate lambda equal to mean arrival rate when lambda n is constant for all n nu equal to mean service rate when mu n is constant for all n s equal to Number of parallel service stations rho equal to lambda by mu s equal to traffic intensity for service facility that is the expected fraction of time the servers are busy pi t of n equal to 
probability of n services in time t given that servicing is going on throughout t line length or queue size equal to number of customers in the queuing system queue length equal to line length or queue size minus number of units being served psi of w equal to probability density function of waiting time in the system l s equal to expected line length that is expected number of customers in the system l q equal to expected q length that is expected number of customers in the queue w s equal to expected waiting time per customers in the system w q equal to expected waiting time per customers in the queue w given w greater than 0 equal to expected waiting time of a customer who has to wait l given l greater than 0 equal to expected length of non empty queues that is expected number of customers in the queue when there is a queue p of w greater than 0 that is probability of customers having to wait for service ncr equal to binomial coefficient ncr equal to n factorial by or factorial into n minus or factorial the exclamatory symbol represents for factorial then equal to n into n minus 1 etc n minus or plus 1 divided by or factorial for or and n non-negative integers traffic intensity or utilization factor an important measure of a simple queue m bar m bar 1 is its traffic intensity where traffic intensity rho equal to mean arrival rate divided by mean service rate equal to lambda divided by mu then rho equal to 1 by mu divided by 1 by lambda equal to mean service rate divided by mean inter minus arrival time the unit of traffic intensity is year long here it should be noted carefully that a necessary condition for a system to have settled down to steady state is that rho less than 1 for lambda by mu less than 1 or lambda less than mu that is arrival rate or service rate if it is not so that is rho greater than 1 the arrival rate will be greater than the service rate and consequently the number of units in the queue tends to increase indefinitely as the time passes on provided the rate of service is not affectly repeat is not affected by the length of the queue distribution of arrivals the poison process pure birth process in many situations the objective of an analysis consists of merely observing the number of customers that enter the system the model in which any arrivals are counted and no departures take place are called pure birth models the term birth refers to the arrival of a new calling unit in the system and the death refers to the departure of the service unit as such birth models are not of much importance so far as the applicability to real life situation is concerned but these were very important in the understanding of completely random arrival problems arrival distribution theorem if the arrivals are completely random then the probability distribution of number of arrivals in a fixed time interval follows a poisson distribution in order to prove this theorem we make sure the following assumptions are true assume that there are n units in the system at time t and the probability that exactly one arrival birth will occur during small time interval delta t be given by lambda into delta t plus order of delta t where lambda is the arrival rate of time and order of delta t includes the terms of higher order of delta t 
further assume that the time delta t is so small that the probability of more than one arrival in time delta t is order of delta t the whole square that is almost zero. The number of arrivals in non overlapping intervals are statistically independent that is the process has independent increment. Poisson process arrivals if n be the number of arrivals during time interval t, then the law of probability in Poisson process is given by Pn of t equal to lambda t whole power n, e power minus lambda t divided by n factorial, where n equal to 0, 1, 2, etc., where lambda t is the parameter, since mean equal to expectation of n equal to lambda t variance of n equal to lambda t the average number of arrivals in unit time will be e n divided by t equal to lambda equal to mean arrival rate if we consider the time interval t comma t plus delta t where delta t is very small then p naught of delta t equal to probability of no arrival in time delta t Distribution of inter-arrival times exponential process. Let t be time between two consecutive arrivals called the inter-arrival time and a t denotes the probability density function of t. If n, the number of arrivals in time t follows the Poisson distribution, pn of t equal to lambda t whole power n into e power minus lambda t divided by n factorial. Then t or the inter arrival time obeys the negative exponential law a of t equal to lambda e power minus lambda t and vice versa. Markovian property of inter arrival times. The Markovian property of inter arrival time states that any instant the time until the next arrival occurs is independent if the time that has elapsed since the occurrence the last arrival that is to say probability of t greater than or equal to t1 given t greater than or equal to t naught equal to probability of 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to t1 minus t naught. A queuing system with a single service station distribution of departures if the process assume that there are n customers in the system at time t equal to 0 also assume that no arrivals can occur in the system departures occur at the rate mu per unit time we wish to derive the distribution of departures from the system on the basis of the following three axioms probability of one departure during delta t equal to mu into delta t plus order of delta t the whole square equal to mu delta t. Probability of more than one departure during delta t equal to order of delta t the whole square equal to zero. The number of departures in non overlapping intervals are statistically independent and identically distributed random variable that is the process n of t as independent increments. Derivation of service time distribution. Let capital T be the random variable denoting the service time and T be the possible value of T. Let S of T and small s of T be the cumulative density function and the probability density function of T respectively. To find small s of T, for the Poisson departure case, it has been observed that the probability of no service during time 0 and t is equivalent to the probability of having no departure during the same period. Thus, probability of service time capital T greater than or equal to small t equal to 1 minus probability of no departure during t equal to pn of t where there are n units 
in the system and no arrival is allowed after capital N. That means we usually call N. Therefore, Pn of t equal to e power minus mu t. Then S of t, that means capital S of t equal to probability of t less than or equal to t. We no need to say capital T and small t. Those who are learning this chapter, anyone can understand? Oh, here we have to put capital T. Here we have to put small t like that. Then, equal to 1 minus probability of t greater than or equal to t or capital S of t equal to 1 minus e power minus mu t. Differentiating both sides with respect to t, we get d by dt of capital S of t equal to after differentiating capital S of t, we usually get small s of t equal to mu into e power minus mu t comma t greater than or equal to 0 then 0 for t less than or equal to 0. Thus, it is concluded that the service time distribution is exponential with the mean 1 by mu and variance 1 by mu square thus mean service time equal to 1 by mu. Analogy of exponential service time with the Poisson arrivals it has been proved as a theorem on P that if number of arrivals n follows the Poisson distribution, the inter-arrival time t will follow the exponential one and vice versa. In the like manner, it can also be shown that if the time t to complete the service of a unit follows the exponential distribution given by the probability density function, s of t equal to mu into e power minus mu t where mu is the mean servicing rate for a particular station then the number n of departure in time t will follow the Poisson distribution given by psi of t equal to probability of n services in time t if servicing is going on throughout t equal to mu t whole power n into e power minus mu t divided by n factorial. Consequently, it can be shown that xi delta t of 0 equal to probability of no service in delta t equal to 1 minus mu into delta t. xi delta t of 1 equal to probability of 1 service in delta t equal to mu delta t. Erlang service time distribution is represented by E k. So far, we have considered exponential process and service time distribution. Seen that the inter arrival time distribution and service time distribution both will follow the exponential assumptions given by a of t equal to lambda into e power minus lambda t and s of t equal to mu into e power minus mu t respectively. These only give one parameter family of possible arrival and service time distribution respectively. A two parameter generalization of the exponential family which is of great importance in queuing problems is called the Erlang family of service time distribution. This is defined by its probability density function capital S of t comma mu comma k equal to k into mu whole power k t power k minus 1 e power minus k into mu into t divided by k minus 1 factorial equal to c k into t power k minus 1 into e power minus k into mu into t. This is called equation number 2 where c k equal to k into mu whole power k divided by k minus 1 factorial where 0 less than t less than infinity comma k greater than or equal to 1. It should be noted carefully that equation 2 gives us the exponential distribution given by equation number 1 for k equal to 1. Let t1, t2, etc. tk be the servicing time for any customer in respective k phases 
then the total service time small t is given by that means we usually call t t equal to t1 plus t2 etc till tk also each of the times t1 t2 etc tk is independently and exponentially distributed with parameter k mu hence probability of t less than or equal to t1 plus t2 plus etc tk less than or equal to t plus delta t equal to integration into integration integration etc we can put integration till k times probability of t1 into probability of t2 etc probability of tk into dt1 dt2 etc dtk for t less than or equal to ti less than or equal to t plus delta t where i equal to 1 2 etc k equal to we have to put integration for k times into k into mu e power minus k mu into t that means e power minus k into mu into t1 comma etc k into mu into e power minus k into mu into tk into dt1 etc dtk equal to k into mu whole power k into we put in the integration k times e power minus k into mu into summation i equal to 1 to k ti dt1 etc dtk now applying dirichlet's theorem of multiple integrals equal to k mu whole power k gamma 1 power k divided by gamma k e power minus k into mu into t into t power k minus 1 equal to k into mu whole power k into 1 by gamma k e power minus k into mu into t where k greater than or equal to 0 some qualitative assumptions it is essential to pay much attention to physical significance of following three qualitative assumptions for further discussion of queuing system subdivision a stationary waiting line the probability that n customers arrive in a time interval t comma t plus small t is independent of capital t and as a function of the variables n and small t both subdivision b absence of after effect this means that the probability of n customers arrive in a time interval capital t comma capital t plus small t does not depend on the number of customers arriving before capital t subdivision c the order lines of the waiting line it expresses the practical impossibility of two or more customers arriving at the same instant of time a waiting line satisfying the above three conditions is usually called a simple queue classification of queuing models for simplicity the queuing models presented here are classified as follows roman letter 1 that means first type probabilistic queuing models model number 1 erlong model this model is symbolically represented by m bar m bar 1 colon infinity bar fcfs that means first come first served this denotes the poisson arrival poisson departure single server infinite capacity and first come first served service discipline model 2 general erlong model although this model is also represented by m bar m bar 1 colon infinity flash that means bar first come first served we usually write fcfs but this is a general queuing model in which the rate of arrival and service time depend on the length n of the line model 3 this model is represented by m bar m bar 1 colon n bar fcfs that means first come first served in this model the capacity of the system is limited 
say n obviously the number of variables will not exceed the number n in any case model 4 this model is represented by m bar m bar s colon infinity bar fcfs that means first to come first served in which the number of service station in s in parallel model 5 this model is represented by m bar ek bar 1 colon infinity bar fcfs that means first come first served this is poisson arrivals along in service time for k phases and a single server model 6 machine repairing model this model is represented by m bar m bar r colon k bar gd where k greater than r that is poison arrivals exponential service time or repairman and k machines in the system and general q discipline model 7 power supply model model 8 economic cost profit model Model 9, M bar G bar 1, colon, infinity bar GD, where G is the general output distribution and the GD represents the general line distribution. Roman letter 2, that means second type. Mixed queuing model. Model 10, M bar D bar 1, colon, infinity bar FCFS, where D stands for deterministic service time. Roman letter 3, deterministic queuing model. Model 11, D bar D bar 1, K minus 1 bar FCFS, where D tends to deterministic arrivals, that is, inter arrival time distribution is constant or regular. D tends to deterministic service time distribution, since the tend to the general time discipline solution of queuing models the solution of queuing models are as classified will consist of the following parts to obtain the system to obtain the system of steady state equations governing the queue to solve these equations for finding out the probability distribution of queue length to obtain probability density function for waiting time distribution to find the busy period distribution to derive formula for ls lq l bar l greater than 0 ws wq w bar w greater than 0 and variance of n etc also to obtain the probability of arrivals during the service time of any customer the analytic procedure may be adapted for Solving the steady state equations for model 1 to 4, since the analytic procedure seems to be more complicated for model number 5, so we shall adopt the increasingly powerful technique of generating functions. Queuing theory Introduction In everyday life, it is seen that a number of people arrive at a cinema ticket window. If the people arrive too frequently, they will have to wait for getting there or sometime do without it. Under such circumstances, the only alternative is to form a queue called the waiting line. In order to maintain a proper discipline, occasionally it is also happens that the person issuing tickets will have to wait until additional people arrive. Here the arriving people are called the customers and the person issuing tickets is called server. Another example is represented by letters arriving at a typist desk. Again, the letters represented the customers and the typist represented the server. A third example is illustrated by a machine breakdown situation. A breakdown machine represents a customer calling the service of repairman. These examples show that the term customer may be interpreted in various number of ways. It is also noticed that a service may be performed either by moving the server to the customer or to the server. Thus, it is concluded that the waiting line are not only the lines of human beings, but also the aeroplanes seeking to land at a busy airport, ships to be unloaded. 
machine parts to be assembled, cars waiting for traffic lights to turn green, customers waiting for attention on a shop, calls arriving at a telephone, switchboard jobs, waiting for processing by a computer or anything else that require work done on and for it are also the examples of costly and critical delay situations. Further, it is also observed that arriving units may form one line and serviced through only one situation may form one line and be served through several situations may form several lines and are served through many situations. Serves may be in parallel or in series when in parallel the arriving customers may form a single queue or individual queues in front of each server as in common in big post offices service time may be constant or variable and the customers may be served single or in batches machine shop at complex queue figure illustrates how a machine shop may be thought of as a system of queues forming in front of a number of centers the arrows between the centers indicating possible routes for jobs proceed in the shop arrivals service center or either new jobs coming into the system or jobs partially processed for some other service center departures from a service center may become the arrivals at another service center or may leave system entirely when processed on their items is complete. Queuing theory is concerned with the statistical description of the behavior of queues with finding. Example, the probability distribution of the number in the queue from which the mean and variance of the queue length and the probability distribution of waiting time for customer or the distribution of a server's busy periods can be found. In operational research, problems involving queues, investigators must measure the existing system to make an objective assessment of its characteristics and must determine how changes may be made to the system. What effects of various kinds of changes in the system's characteristics would be and whether the lights of the cost incurred in the systems, changes should be made to it. A model of the queuing system under study must be constructed in this kind of analysis and the result of queuing theory are required to obtain the characteristics of the model and to assess the effects of changes such as the addition of an extra server or a reduction in mean service time. Perhaps the most important general fault emerging from the theory is that from the degree of congestion in a queuing system, measured by mean weight in the queue or mean queue length is very much dependent on the amount of irregularity in the system. Thus, congestion depends not just on mean rates at which customers arrive and are served and may be reduced without altering mean rates by regularizing arrivals or service time or both where there is can be achieved. Conclusion In this chapter, we have converted the following in detail. The M bar M bar 1 queuing system, state dependent M bar M bar 1 queuing system, M bar M bar 1 bar capital N finite buffer case, M bar M bar queuing system, infinite number of servers, the M bar G bar 1 queuing system, network of queues open networks and closed networks.